Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in my pursuit of uh, finishing off my Scandinavian coins, we have Norway today. Now, who knows, I'm filming this on the same day that Russia's invaded the Ukraine, so maybe this will be the last one, who knows. There we go. Now, oh, my lighting's going funny because the, the sun's just come out from behind a cloud. Now the uh, date is down there, 1968, Norway 5 ore. Now they're all using ore, and krona, as most of the Scandinavian countries do. So it's a 68 5 ore, and I'm just going to put them in poles of each denomination. Here we go, a 20 krona. Twenty krona there from twenty twenty on the front end of the ship. A twenty krona. There's another twenty krona. This one ninety four, nineteen ninety four. Bit dirty this one. Here we have a one krona with a nice picture of a horse. what year though oh it's at the top 73 now like in many they've got a they like to have the odd coin with a hole in the middle one krona from 97 another one 2005 quite a nice coin though I'm not too keen on ones with holes in they look a bit more like tokens but there's uh, there's some nice designs on them got this one looks older than the others 5 or it's definitely because of the size of the coin there you go 51 so Not that old. And here's some buzzing in the background. It's the fan on my on my laptop. 1975, one krona. Here we go. Ten krona. 95. Now some smaller denomination ones now. Sorry about the lighting. The, the, the sun's out, but it keeps on going behind a cloud. Right, so we have a 50 ore with what looks like an octopus on a bicycle, but I'm sure it's not meant to be that. 96. 50 ore. Can we make that out? Earth is it? Oh well, fifty ore. And another fifty ore with the motorcycling octopus. Perhaps it's a squid. Who knows? I'll have to look that up and try and find out. Find out later. Find out later. And five ore from seventy-eight. Oh, there you go, we've got the rampant lion, not with a sword, but with an axe. If you remember, um, Finland had a rampant lion with a sword, or tiger, or griffin, or whatever you want to call them. 1963, five krona, all for Norway. King of Norway, Olav V, King of Norway. 
kroner, stick them in there. And one kroner, Norway, 1997. So yeah, so I woke up this morning to find out that uh, Russia has invaded the Ukraine. Seems like a good time, 1973. 10 or. There we go, 1996, 50. Oh, wait a minute, that was 10 ore, wasn't it? So I'm actually really good there. And here we have another uh, 50 ore. Different year, though. 1971. One krona, 72. So I guess I'm going to have to see one krona, 76. If I've got any Ukrainian coins. Probably won't be any left soon. Here we go. Fifty eighty-six. One Krona two thousand and seven. Quite nice one that. Fifty or ninety-six. This one is 1953, 50 or. Now, I'm not sure if any of these have got silver in, but I very much, well, if they put silver in them initially, 1972, 5 or. Another 5 or. 50 or. If they were ever to have silver in, I don't think I've got any going back far enough to contain silver. We'll have a look through anyway. 5 or had to happen eventually. There you go, you can go in there now. And a fifth, yeah, 50 or cycling octopus, 50 or 1991. So we'll have to see how these fit out. It's going to be over a couple of pages because we have some very small and some very large. 10 or 63. 10 or 72. Come on, come on, I can do better than that. Let's hold it. It's 72. go one krona 98 I do have, even though my son doesn't really like doing coins one krona 2002 I do have to get him in occasion just to read the dates on those smaller coins right here we go we've got an 1879 so it's an old one it does have a hole in so somebody's been wearing it In more weight. Now this is going to be the oldest one I've got. One krona. So that one might have a bit of silver in. Not much, I suppose. Here we go. 
Cycling Octopus, 96. Is that 50? Krona? No, 50 or, sorry. From 1984. And here we go. 5 or. A line with an axe. 1999 one krona and the last one 20 krona from 2002 now see not many coins possibly a couple of duplicates i don't know if you noticed any while i was going through i'm going to stick these in a couple of pages and then show you thank you very much see you soon and we're back again i've managed to put everything in sheets now as you can see usual PVC plastic there's foreign coins there's nothing of great value it'll be fine it's also easy to get the coins out later as I get more and stick them in envelopes again here we go with the larger coins now this is a 4x5 sheet I'm actually moving my pre-decimal UK one pennies from sheets like these into proper hard plastic uh, because I plan to keep them in there for a long much longer time than these will stay in here so I have an abundance of these at the moment which is why I'm going to use these I'm running out of ones of smaller coins so I may have to jig around some of the decisions I've made in the past and rather than you know squeezing coins in give them a bit more space to move around this is the oldest one I have 1879, can you see it there? Possibly not through the plastic. 1879. There we go, one krona. It is damaged. Um, cause it is damaged, but it is silver, 80% uh, silver. I mean, it's not only damaged with a hole, but somebody's coloured it in black, presumably to wear it as a pendant or similar I don't mind it's mine now and out of focus as usual right so there we go that's all I've got at the moment oh I do have these duplicates I was just going to bung them in as well but I'm going to have to take them out eventually so I thought might as well do it now and I'll keep them to one side and when I get enough I'll probably sell them as a little bag or even give them away if I have enough followers by then. And I'll see you all soon. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, whatever you like. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.